Good morning, everyone. This is Jordan from the Traders Terminal. Uh, before we move on to the crude oil analysis, very quick update on the Euro Kiwi setup, which was shared yesterday, I believe, based on platform X analysis plus a bit of price action. As we can see, we got a false break right here on the level. Then we managed to get a breakout below this trend line. So it doesn't matter how you trade if you're going for the conservative part you might be looking at breakout and sales you might be looking at breakout pullback and then the sales or here sales uh you're overall going to be making money in this setup the only way that this setup is losing is if and when you're attacking a pure at level right here with a spike and aggressive protection a more conservative protection uh would be still perfectly fine all right so that's about the update now let's go ahead and check out the crude oil chart we're looking at the weekly chart at the moment and uh, if you watched my previous analysis on this one you know that i'm looking for a cycle to develop like this select wave cycle and in my opinion we're currently inside wave number five starting from that zone uh, which means in my opinion we still have another push to the upside coming and that means i'm looking for bullish opportunities now this is an important level because this is a previous swing high which could be retested once again uh what else we can say of course now we're looking at the daily chart is that we have bullish delta pattern right here and that usually means we're looking at pullbacks and continuations so now what i'm trying to figure out is what do we have right here what kind of uh, corrective structure are is going to take place and then the second question that arises since i have a direction is uh, what are the levels combined with this structure that are the optimal zones for me to attack buys okay we already mentioned this one as initial level we can drop trend lines here of course we can use uh this one i forgot to upgrade again we can use levels and probably the more interesting part here would be the actual structure in my opinion we should be focused on a few things now first of all if you're going for a double wave zigzag structure of some sort you can see where the 100 percent goes right on the weekly spot on the weekly spike here right so this definitely becomes the first zone for me automatically immediately two really major big levels there is no way for me to ignore this one then we can try to figure out <clears throat> excuse me if this thing is going to be duplicating somehow and we project the top trend line of a potential boundary to the lowest spike then look where it goes if the price goes like this not like that once again we have this 77 level in the zone now some people might think that this is a coincidence i don't think this is a coincidence when such things happen it's usually a very good sign okay and i'm personally going to be looking for this bias and this is the optimal level for the bias the question is can we go ahead and look for possible sell opportunities if we're expecting for the price to go there the answer is yes you could it makes sense especially since the price broke and it's holding below this zone this is 81.60 down to 81 let's say okay um you could be looking for these sell opportunities but this has to be short term and you have to keep in mind that you're going against the higher time frames we are in a bullish trend so selling into the bullish trend is usually riskier messier and less profitable 
at least for me, based on my performance, I'm not saying this is the general case for everyone. Maybe some people are doing even more money during pullbacks. I have no clue. For me, this is it. All right, you're going against the trend. Um, and basically what, what you should be looking for here, extremely cautious about is the level. And again, this is the zone. We're very close to this zone. I guess you might find some interesting protective uh, levels here, levels to protect, keep in mind the risk reward ratio, etc. Okay, but if you want to be going more conservative, in my opinion, you should be waiting for another drop to the downside. In other words, once and if, let's use this line, the price drops to approximately this previous low, which is just a few points above, okay, the zone, the optimal zone, I will be on high alert and I will start looking for the potential reversals that could be happening anywhere inside this zone. Okay, this is the optimal one. If the price decides that it's not going to stop here and we are going to be continuing lower, then I need to reanalyze the situation and I'll see how I'm going to handle it because technically speaking, we might push slightly lower. It will be perfectly fine. We have levels, we have zones it will be still good, okay? But let's first of all focus on this part, the reversals, and if it happens, I am expecting 86.33, which is, let's say, looking for a double top, okay? So when we're doing that on the interday, uh, from a perfect level, the idea will be to catch it with um, stop loss in terms of points that is very, very small, very tight, and then you get a decent risk reward ratio. So that's about um, crude oil. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.